I'm Jen Williams. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be covering another angle of renovating this uh, 1977 Millard. Uh, we've been treating the roof and basically going through the uh, waterproofing process step by step. So we've cleaned a lot of the excess channels from old silicon, uh, two to three layers of it, and I've got a further video following this on that. But I wanted to show you first, let's have a look at the different silicons that you can use. A lot of people would go for a kitchen and bathroom silicon, and um, yeah, it's not bad, and it would be all right to use inside, but uh, the powers that be tell us that you're a lot better off using a Sikaflex. Now this is a Sikaflex Pro. Um, I wanted to show you the difference, um, which it was new to me and I wanted to share. So this is a normal size of silicon tube and a normal silicon gun. All right, so we're all used to those and these guys in Sikaflex cost, I don't know, 22 to $25. Um, you can get uh, vehicle ones that are really good as well, but um, the Sikaflex Pro seems to be good and I've been told with the amount that I want to do on the caravan I'm better off going to the sausage they call this and the big larger gun now one of the main tips on this is instead of when we're ready to pop it into this tube <clears throat> and put the end on the lady in the paint section said to me, I'll give you a huge tip, just nick this, just one little cut with a pair of scissors. And that's what we'll be doing. One little tip here, not to cut this whole end off because it'll all come barreling out when we're pressing on the back. So uh, nicking it a little bit here will aid me to get a finer end so I'll be just taking the end off because I do want it quite fine into getting right into that jam and of course we'll be just putting that into here and that's where it'll come out through here it's a great gun it's um now the difference was these tubes that cost $21 so much better economy it has uh what's in it 600 mil and this has 300 grams, so you'd have to convert grams to milliliters. But um, this as well, there are some of the larger handles that you see in your hardware store. I went to Bunnings here in Australia. Um, these can You can pay up to $55, and I was a bit shocked. But if you look right down on the bottom shelf, this was $12. So they are around hopefully it works just as well it looks pretty good in all of its angles so we're going to give that a bell today but i did think it was worth showing you that there are choices with the size that you're using because how many of us have gone through what three or four tubes of this in doing a caravan of that size when i've got to do every one of those j rails on that side on this side all the way around and all the way around the top so let alone anywhere else uh it's much better here's my little guys helping me out today okay here we are on the roof of the millard um, we're removing all of the old silicon on top and i thought it was pertinent to show you a couple of things Okay, so it's very hot here um, in summer, and so I've got out here at um, like 6.30 in the morning, and of course there's dew. What I've found is all of this cracked paint, when I go over it with the wire brush, water comes up. I've also gone, I've been scraping off, as you can see, I'm on my second layer of silicon, which basically look like this on the roof part. Um, that's what I'm about to do next. Excuse the dogs barking uh, next to our neighbors. Um, and so what I wanted to show you though, is especially for people who are just doing a quick reno of a van, don't be misled by just going over old silicon. 
What I've found is it is silicon and not Sikaflex, which will, Sikaflex will dry better, can paint better, and um, it also is a lot more durable. So always buy the best you can. Now, what I want to show you here, this is the second lot of silicon. And as I go nearer, you can see the mold in the joint, which shows me it has been uh, getting water in. And that was the second one under. So the other part is, look at this joint in here. Let's go back a bit so we're in focus. In there, that's wet. So that's wetting all in the pop top in here. Never been siliconed. So no wonder the other side, over the other side, I've already repaired all that side um, and it's ready for um, gurneying or, you know, sandblasting on the roof to, before we can prime and paint. But this is a mess and it's because everyone kept just going over the old silicon and in here, never even bothered. So I'll be putting a bead along this top part and in this bottom part to make sure you can see here look at that wet as and mold so you can tell so that a little bit of water what if you're in a storm a little bit of water getting in there sitting in there for ages you can see along this rail look at the mold so i've still got to do all of this here and then sand back and I've bought a sandblaster so I can get rid of all this old paint before I prime properly with an etching prime, met metallic, metal, made for metal, and rust preventative enamel paint over the top. Only those ones. Now, if you've been watching my YouTube channel, you'll know this is my eighth rig. And I can tell you now, don't muck around with other paints. Do it properly, do it once. This will last me for the rest of my life. This van is the keeper. And so I wanna make sure that I never have to replace the side rail up there like I just did. That was not a great job to do. So before I even begin to get onto this part of the van with all the terrible, terrible, terrible paint, someone's put in vinyl paint over a metal finish without priming and of course, over the years, it's just dried, flaked off. We live in Australia. You have to be ready to battle the sun. And I can tell you with today going to be 33, it really needs to be good. And um, all these people painting their vans black, you might want to think again, do the base black, but do the top white. White reflects, black attracts sun. Um, okay, so we'll be going right through this and I'll give you another video shortly. Here you can see the tools I was using, the wire brush, the grout remover and the wheel on the drill. Really good products to remove all of this dry flaky stuff. I've just taken it round the edges at this point because I will be sandblasting. Um, and you can see all the old sil silicon I have um, removed and then getting ready for the new Sikaflex. Down the bottom, the J-rails, um, when we looked underneath, you could see the chassis was all rusted, so that had to be um, stop rusted, rubbed back, and then primed with a gray primer, metal primer. Um, really good to use these products and worth doing underneath, uh, even did inside the J-rail. Um, screwed the J-rails back up after sicker flexing inside them. Used metal self-tapping self, uh, uh, stainless steel screws this time, not um, pop rivets, so that they're in there well and truly um, and nice and solid to be able to build that door frame around. You can see there was a little piece. I ended up silicon and pop riveting that into place. Removed any of the other little bits and pieces that was hanging off the side skirts. And you can see there the Sikaflex gun right down to the bare minimum. There we are nearly finished and um, we're ready for the other side. Basically the same thing happened. I pulled it all apart, found it was even worse on this side because the, that's where the fridge used to be. So rubbed it all back, treated it with the stop brush, rubbed it back again, then primed it, then sicker flexed 
and screwed those J rails right up into the chassis, added several more with the use of a really good um, metal drill bit. Worth $30 to buy two of them because I use them so much and they just carve through that chassis rail like it wasn't even there. There we go, finished. A little bit of silicon on the door hatch there just to, um, you know, just prime it up a little bit. I'm still working on that. I think I'll put some foam rubber in there that will um, seal it up a bit. Thanks for watching. Now you can see how easy it is to remove the silicon and replace it with Sikaflex. Better product, easy to paint over, dries over the course of a week but is uh, a little skin on it within probably an hour. So uh, better to use. Uh, you be the judge of that, but um, I certainly am a uh, convert. Um, don't forget to subscribe. It's down the bottom here. And while you're subscribing, have a look at my website, jenniferwilliams.com.au, where you'll see all my photography from my trip um, six years on the road around Australia. They're high definition. You can download for $59 each, and then you can print how you want. Um, I prefer canvas because they're nice and light and you don't need a frame or glass, but lots of people these days prefer uh, maybe an acrylic um, or to have it printed on metal, uh, to have it as a beautiful matte print um, behind a, um, a beautiful piece of, of non-reflective glass and their own timber frame to match their furnishings. So that's why I leave it to you. You choose how you want your photo to be in your home. These to me, they're a wonderful reminder of why we do all of this caravan work because we want to get out there that's actually Tasmania, St. Helens, that's Cozy Corner North, a free camp. You can stay up to a month. Well worth all of this work just to get away and experience our wonderful great outdoors. I'll see you next time. Subscribe and leave us comments below. Bye for now.